pet made this like about three or four times and it's getting annoying but here we are week two of the fcs season in the spring and yet there's a couple of games that are in non-conference or teams that have completely opted out of the season again uh, it was hard to find these tarleton state you know couldn't find it on tv couldn't find any highlights I'm pretty sure there might be some now but it's going to be difficult to find some highlights of you know FCS football because it's hard to get you know good TV time with with the way things are right now with the NHL, NBA, college basketball, you know all that stuff going on. There's going to be limited slots on TV for actual FCS games. Um, again, James Madison looking you know they could potentially be looking for a title. They are playing a non-conference game against Moorhead State. Um, again. James Madison lost a lot, you know, guys like Ben DiNucci, but they're getting a lot back, and it should be interesting to see there. That game's tomorrow. Tonight, though, tonight, South Dakota State, Northern Iowa, in in the UNI Dome. Going to be one hell of a matchup. Top-ranked teams in the FCS, in, in the best conference in the FCS, the SEC of the, S, of the FCS, you know. Going to be one hell of a match up there. North Dakota State, there is no Trey Lance. Remember, he's not playing this this spring. He did play one game. Again, I don't agree to that he should be drafted right now. I don't think he should be. I think he needs another year at least. But whatever. I'm not going to say anything about that. There's also SWAC games. You know, you know there's rather at least just one with... With our old friend Primetime, Deion Sanders and his Jackson State Tigers. That's right, the Jackson State Tigers who have been making headlines throughout the off season, throughout throughout the fall, and even, you know, this week, you know, with with Deion's, you know, comments about bowl games and stuff like that, which I thought was stupid. You know because I mean you got you gotta schedule better. To get bowl games, you can't schedule like you. You can't be like an Ivy League school or Patriot League school or a um, Northeast Conference school and schedule like shit. You have to schedule better. You can't just schedule HBCUs all the time. You can't just schedule HBCUs all the damn time for Division Two and from the MEAC and the SWAT. You can't just do that all the time. You gotta play some FCS teams. Go play somebody. Go play Youngstown State. Go play James Madison. Go play teams. Go play somebody. And you can't just accept FBS money games either. Go play somebody in, in this division. Play somebody in the FCS, please. So shut up with that noise. And then the SWAC had the audacity to hand out a, a um, forfeiture of all of Alcorn's games. So Alcorn State, they're not playing this spring. But, you know, hey, here's what the SWAC does. is just forfeit every one of Alcorn State's games. And it's kind of dumb. I mean, I get it. I, I believe Alcorn is still practicing and stuff like that. But, I mean, it's spring practice. What kind of penalty is there for spring practice? I don't get it. I don't get it. Two steps forward and then like 20 steps backward for the SWAC. It's it's a, it's a never-ending cycle with this conference. That's why I don't talk about it that, that, that much. I mean, it's one of the reasons I don't talk about FCS football in general that much, which is a damn shame. You know, I only talk about HBC football when it's convenient. There's also the SOCON kicking off. Um... The Ohio Valley is kicking off. The rest of the Missouri Valley is kicking off. And New Mexico State. Yeah, that's right. New Mexico State. They are playing a couple games this spring because they didn't play in the fall. I don't know why. I don't know how. But whatever. Whatever. Um, New Mexico State is supposed to play Tarleton State, Dixie State, and New Mexico Highlands. Um, I'm hoping I can catch those New Mexico State games. You know, because they actually have a deal on TV, even though it's terrible. I believe they're with Flow Sports. We all know how bad Flow Sports is. But, yeah. So, that'll pretty much do it. You know, there's a lot of turnover with these rosters. Again, you know, 
some rosters are looking a lot better than others and stuff like that. So we'll see how it goes from Friday all the way to 